Hi right, guys, um, part two of the uh, of the sound battery. Yeah, as you can see, it's all uh, insulated up, and um, and yeah, what a bit of a job that was too. <laughs> I did that all on my own and working with three of the worst materials known to mankind, as in rock wool, chicken wire, and uh, and really delicate foil over the top of that. Um, so yeah, and doing it on your own was a, was an absolute pig. But it but it's kind of come out okay. It looks all right. And, uh, but it, as I say, it's not meant to be a bit of furniture, it's just supposed to be functional. But it's a, I'll admit it's a lot tighter than what I kind of envisioned it would be. Um, I've, I've also done the uh, firebox, yeah, just a bit of hold a bit of heat in really, get a bit more of an intense burn. Um, a bit crude, use the kind of same kind of fashion really. Um, couldn't really think of anything what else to do with it, and uh, and it was the materials are all to hand. So um, so yeah, that'll help um, in a in a sense on its own. So. Uh, we get a bit more heat in that box so yeah and it's so today really what i'm going to do is i'll initially do a burn i won't do what i did last time i don't think as in keep monitoring it um, there's only a couple of points where i can actually take a temperature from um, one is where the handle is there and that hole goes to the main body of it so we'll be able to get a temperature from there and hopefully um, somebody kindly commented um, saying that shiny surfaces with the IR gun can give you a bit of funny reading and as, as you can see you could probably tell from the other video um, I was getting kind of funny readings and I didn't actually 110% believe most of what readings that I was getting so yeah being in there and a bit shady and not a lot of light on it hopefully we get a, a decent reading from there and I don't think it actually sprayed in there so so yeah so the the plan of today is we do a burn and then we get it indoors and I'll probably just put it in one room and and then we we'll see what kind of temperature change it will give us in that room um, everything's done now the fans i've got a fan for it so we should be able to function as i kind of envisioned this thing to function yeah now being insulated so we should get some real good sort of accurate um, readings from it and we'll see what what temperature that brings that room up to um, i've got to kind of work alongside my wife today she's in and out so um, initially I'm kind of thinking about an hour and a half burn but if she's not in then obviously I might have to do it maybe for a couple of hours um, but I'll let you know what, what what time we put in it and then we can work out throughout the rest of today what temperature we're getting out of it and how it's working so yeah really interesting and thanks for all of your comments and your feedback and nice to see some of you subscribed and see the second part of it and see how we get on um, it is quite interesting yeah so I'll get it fired up might do a, a temperature check I suppose really I've got I've got things written down what we did half an hour when it was bare bones so I, I probably I might do a quick temperature check at half an hour and see what we've got it'd be quite interesting because that whole where that handle is at the top and we knew that we know that that was the coolest part so yeah so i'll get a burn done and we see how we get on from there all right proper cooking now right this is the kind of effect i want to get today thanks for all your feedback um there were some really good um good ideas there yeah one of them uh which was one of my recent comments today was uh, use smaller wood and yeah and that's one thing i was gonna i'm gonna do today and i'm gonna load it when i first started it on the first burn that we did i had obviously pine in there and i was getting good flames like i'm getting now out the top and i think i'm gonna try and cons keep that consistent um so i'm gonna load the bottom um smaller bits of wood which obviously makes sense um because obviously there's more surface area there more if we we're burn it'll burn intense um and hotter so um so i'm gonna keep it fully loaded um, and just keep feeding it in and yeah and keep them flames coming out the top if I can um, I'm going to mix the two I've got loads of pine I've got loads of oak um, so I'm just going to keep mixing the two of them together yeah and see if we can get a good build up heat from that so I think we will what with the insulation and everything else on it um, uh, yeah other ideas uh, some great ideas and one one of them uh, a couple of people mentioned it and that was in the pipe to have rebar going through into the sand around the outside I did initially think of that. Um, I use this stuff all the time. I make all these bits and bobs. Um, but I was going to use, I was thinking of doing it, and I was thinking of using the stuff they put in reinforced concrete. I've got some of that, which is that grid system, and just cut some of that. I think it's about 5 mil. Um, and I was going to sort of put it through and have it so it looked a bit like plunk. Um, I don't know if any of you remember that game? Yeah, because I, I, I was also thinking, you know, the, them bars were heat, and then when they were going through the sand, and then obviously when I cool it, um, it would extract the heat better. However, um, the only 
problem with that is is the fact that I'm married <laughs> and, and 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 I I kind of went against it because if I started to get soot in there I would have had soot coming out and I, I wouldn't be able to clean it the idea of why why I decided to keep it clean in the end was that I could uh, run a brush for it basically and get any soot coming out of it because obviously I have a lot of these fandango ideas and I have to get them past as a guy used to work with say get past the war office and uh, and to get it indoors so obviously the question she's going to ask is is it going to smell and is it going to be soot coming out of it so I decided not to go with that and just go bare bones and I can run a brush through it and keep the soot out because the minute I bring it in and a load of soot comes out of it into the house no matter what it does for our heating bill and our house um, it'll get it'll get blacklisted straight away so um, so yeah so I mean it, but then again I say that and I did that burn the other day and I actually got hardly any deposits in it at all and, and really realistically thinking about it that first meter of tubage is going to be so hot um, and quite intense burn there, there probably wouldn't be too much anyway so I kind of I kind of regret the decision but but we'll see, we'll see. If, if there's ever a mark two it would probably have that because um, I do like that idea but we did get quite a good heat build up in it and in, within half an hour I had heat radiating out from from all sides of it um, it may not have been as hot as we wanted but but it, it we got enough and it's smoking at the minute and I don't even know it's but I, I on these these bolts here they they come with rubbers around the outside washers and when I did the bottom of this one yeah I couldn't bother to take them off because <laughs> they were really it was really finickety and picky to pick them off so but they're on the fire tray anyway so they'll probably just melt off and then I'll be able to just talk them down again I'm um, just seeing all smoke coming out so I'm thinking crumbs so yeah proper rocking now I'm I'm rabbling on but yeah we're getting some good heat in that so I'll uh, we've got another 15 minutes to go yet and I'll give it a quick temperature check and then we'll see how we're getting on Hi right, guys, we're um, we're at half an hour. We're just just over half an hour, in fact. Yeah, and we we'll do a quick quick temperature check. Yeah, it's taking a little time, a little bit longer. So it seems to warm up um, on the point that I'm at now, it's here, which is the only bit I can access, which is where the handle goes in. But I'm kind of thinking that the I presume the insulation is going to draw a lot of that heat out to initially until that gets to a certain degree of heat. But it is. Um, I'll start it in Fahrenheit and already we're at 131 i can tell you now um about this time last time we was at um tickling just under 100 so we're warming considerably now um this is in celsius so we're at um, about 50 degrees flu reading is i'll start on fahrenheit again just in case some of you work on that oh my god uh, we were nowhere near and near that so we was at around about 212 i believe um so it's two uh yeah 212 i think we was at when we did it the first time so we're now at about 350 which is amazing which is better um celsius that's 100 and let's say 180 really um inside it in case you're interested, you do Fahrenheit again. Um, we're pumping out over 800. A bit hard to get a reading, don't want to melt the thing. It would say 830, I think. Yeah, um, Celsius, bring it out about 450, and we. Um, the only bit at the back I can get to is here. Let's change it to Fahrenheit again. It's getting really confusing now. I wouldn't be surprised if it was about eight, uh, 600. So it's um, in Celsius, so 300. So we're definitely, we're definitely doing better, aren't we? Um, as I say, it did take a long time to build up. It's kind of get a bit worried there, but I do think the insulation will probably drag a lot of that heat out until that kind of gets to a temperature itself, um, and then get that gets warmed up, and then obviously then it'll start working more efficient. So yeah, so far so good. Right guys, I was thinking um, I might try a bit of an experiment for the last uh, 30 minutes or so that we're going to do it. Um, 
I've, I've already shoved it in there. Um, but I made this up, and it's just a, obviously a bit of the um, the chicken wire that was left over. I was going to try and see what would happen if I put that down the flue. Um, it's about the same length. Um, my idea of thinking is that it will slow some of the gases down, but not obviously too much. I think if I put it in, it starts smoking, and I know it's going to cool. But the idea was that obviously the heat, as I, I think I said, I'm not. I don't really know, understand how certain things work when it comes to wood burners, etc. And um, but the idea of that kind of works in my head that if I put it in there, and providing I can still get the draw that I was getting as it is now, it could potentially heat that, slow some of the gases down, and contain the gases just for a little bit longer uh, within the tube itself. And obviously if I can get that to kind of glow red, I do know that infrared heat, I believe, is a lot more penetrating. So it would it would potentially um, radiate outwards a lot more. I don't know. Um, I might give it a go for a half an hour and see what happens. I'll initially put it in. I'll see if it, um, if it changes anything, i.e. temperature dramatically from the top flue. And yeah, but if it if it's keeps that consistent, um, I might keep it in for the last half and just see what happens and see if it, it, it does anything from there. Um, I just think it's worth a go. Um, it might mess up my um, my statistics, but I think these things are worth a go. But as I say, if I see smoke coming out of it, then um, then I know um, that, that the burn's not, not completing properly, and then I'll um, I'll take it out. So I'll, um, I'll give that a whiz and see what happens. So at the moment I've got a uh, 389 Fahrenheit or 298, uh, 198, sorry, Celsius on the on the actual out body of flue. It's there's a bit more smoke, but there's not a lot. Um, it just goes to show you how well that works. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't be able to put my hand on that um, the last time we did it. Um, it's a bit warm there and a bit warm towards the bottom now. Very hot actually, <laughs> um, but everywhere else is uh, it's very touchable. So, um, so I'm going to give that a go and just see what happens. I have to write this down, um, I'll not forget. So at 194, um, as it is at the minute, and we just see what that does. So it's obviously gone white, but it's. Um, as much as I'd like to think it was white hot, it's not, it's uh, galvanised. Obviously not got flames coming right out of the top like I had just now, although it's dying down a bit. I'll have to put some more wood in. Um, but there is flame actually, I can still see flame. So it might work, I don't know. Um, Obviously, by the time you watch this, it'll be too late anyway. But um, but give me your comments. Let me know. See if you think that you know it may actually um, be some kind of sense in it. It makes sense to me, but but as you know, um, these things can can quite often change the behaviour of the fire. So yeah, so I'll give that a go for a little bit. See what that does. If it starts decreasing dramatically, then I'll um, then I'll whip it out. But right guys um yeah so we've done the mesh and it's been about half an hour and yeah it's actually worked remarkably well you don't have to excuse i i'm getting really confused myself now now i've said i do celsius and um and i've been doing fahrenheit but i've wrote fahrenheit down when i when i um tested it before i put the mesh in so before i put the mesh in we was at 389 degrees fahrenheit on the side of the flue um, but now we're at, I just see 500 flash up there, so we're now at 500, um, which is mental. Yeah, in the hole, um, obviously it's going to climb slower, um, but in the side there we had 217, so we'll see what we're at. 
270 ISO flash out. It's quite hard to actually get it onto the body and, and hold it. I'm shaking because I'm holding one hand. Um, we're, we're nearly at 270, I reckon. So that was 217. Um, and interestingly, um, when I did my last clip just now, I said that you know I could put my hand on there and it didn't feel hot, but um, now it's actually starting to feel the outside is starting to feel quite hot. <laughs> So uh, God knows what we've done to inside. I think we're probably, um, we're talking nuclear sort of stuff, I reckon. Um, but that's actually worked really well. Um, you see, I've still got flame coming up. I think it's just, it's probably slowed it down and, and maybe just a bit of infrared heat. Yeah, I'm quite, quite amazed by that, how much that's... One thing you do find is on one side it'd be different to the other side, but we're 460, 470, 470. So we've had another at 100 Fahrenheit by roughly just doing that. Um, so yeah, so it looks like we're going to go into two hours. My wife's gone out and she's not come back yet. Um, we're at half 11, so hopefully she'll be back in the next... Um, 30 minutes at least and then I'll be able to get this off because I don't really want to go over two hours yeah because realistically I'd never heat it to that um, two hours is plausible um, when we get this up and running because what I'm planning on doing is is every morning I'll bring this down set it up put the wood in and get it ready to light my wife will probably start it um, an hour before I come home from work and, uh, and get it fired up obviously she's not going to tend it like I'm tending it today but it would put some kind of heat in there and then when I get home from work I normally have a coffee so then I'll probably stoke it up uh, maybe have my coffee out here for about um, an hour or so and, and then we bring it in and hopefully the idea really is if you know realistically it'll only be in the evenings when we, we use it and then we are probably just as long as it gets us, you know, gives us four hours of warmth, really, realistically, um, then that's good, isn't it, for a room? Yeah. So, so two hours is, is probably more than I want to do. Um, notice there's smoke coming out of this thing there. There's smoke coming out of the side there. I've not had smoke come out of the uh, out of the body of this thing. I, I dread to think out what this is inside. Um, obviously when we get it off and I get it in the stand inside I'll be able to do a quick temperature check see what it is underneath it um, I have got smoke coming out from the insulation inside so I must be getting super hot now right okay <laughs> I'll um, hopefully she get home we get it off the off the stand and then um, and then get it indoors right guys so it's now indoors yeah a bit of drama that um it was proper red hot um that that last bit i did um just made it mentally hot um i've had smoke coming out of parts of it <laughs> which i don't know why um but yeah it's, it's set up indoors the experiment i'm gonna do now okay is um this is my house from water and that is currently at 21 degrees um and it's been about that actually um pretty consistently for the last week um we've been averaging about 21 degrees celsius this is celsius so what i'm going to do is we've i've got it in this room and we just see how long it takes to um or how hot this will make this room i'm sweating already because that thing is proper roasting that went nuclear hot um towards the end of that i, I was having um I was having a reading of, well, what have we got now? Uh, this is in Fahrenheit, so we're about 480 um, inside there. So the outside is going to be a lot cooler. Um, see if I can get one from underneath. I've got the fan going. The fan is just a, a little PC fan. We had an old PC. Yeah, and luckily that one came on, uh, had a box around it. Um, there was three fans in it. One was, um, one was a bit light. The other one was... Um, was quite fierce um, and this one was in the middle so um, so I'm using that so it's just given a nice oh god that's that's really hot that I can I cannot tell you how hot that is that is proper roasting um, I wish I had another type of therm a thermometer I could put over that that is belting hot I can't I can't hold my hand over the top of it it's ridiculous so the time is now 12 o'clock um, yeah I was gonna do a temperature underneath one if I can if I can get to it. Um, 
that says 512. I've got a feeling that's probably going to be. What are we in there? Fahrenheit. Yeah, let's do that. Celsius. There's quite a lot of heat radiating from the bottom there. I was kind of hoping to um, insulate underneath there in that sort of depression, but. Um, so we're 269 degrees Celsius um, from there. I'll do Celsius in there. I didn't do Celsius, did I? And we're 238, 240, 250. Oh, that's really, oh crumbs, that's really hot. It's 250. <laughs> uh, 250 coming out of that. And that's obviously the top, and that's normally the coolest part. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I went a bit too much. I think um, I put a bit too much heat in. Vic, Vic was quite late getting back. So, yeah, so it kind of burnt a bit longer than I had to. But it was two, well, less, just less than two hours, really, um, that burn was. But I, I cannot believe putting that mesh in. Um, if somebody could tell me the reasons why, if, whether I was, my actual initial thoughts were, were correct, um, what with um, just slowing the gases down and maybe even some infrared heat um, being generated and, and push more more sideways um, into the tube, um, I'll be I'll be grateful. That that would be um, that would be great to to know. Um, it kind of looks a bit like a hand grenade at the moment, doesn't it? Where it was on the sack bar. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, no, proper mental. So yeah, so it did go a bit hotter than than what I initially wanted it. Um, I've lost my train of thought. I was going to say something then. Oh yeah, no, I will say it, there's there's a bit of a smell coming from this, um, which is obviously going to go against me with the war office. I don't know why. Um, maybe just an initial thing. It's it may be the insulation uh, getting super hot. Um, could be the paint on it. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but there is a bit of a smell. It's nothing major. Um, but realistically, it probably won't go in this room. It will go in the hallway or something and just heat the whole house. So yeah, so we're we're at twelve o'clock. Um, we we'll see what that kind of discharge is at. Um, what did we say? Let's do a proper um, just on the inside of here. So this is Celsius. I think we had two two fifty Celsius, didn't we? So two fifty Celsius. Let's say um, when it was at twelve o'clock and in Fahrenheit, we're at. Let me get that down. Oh, we're in over five hundreds. Yeah. So let's say 518, shall we? I saw that. Yeah, and see what kind of... This is a quite a tall room. This has got really high ceilings, so it'd take a while for it to um, to probably start affecting my my uh, household thermometer, however accurate that is, I do not know. So yeah, let's see what it does. All that work. But, but yeah, I'm sweating. I am actually sweating. Good, right, see how it does. Right guys, we're at now three o'clock. So it's been in here now for three hours, and it's it's been working great. It's um it's it's still chucking out. but well, not chucking out, but I've got a gen. It's quite. A, I think it's about a seven watt fan under there, uh, twelve volts, and um, and it's just a light blow of heat, and there's just a continuous um, stream of heat. If I if I keep my hand on here long enough, it starts to get uncomfortable. Um, the that is absolutely scorching hot. This three hours. This is do that again. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's sizzling hot. That is um, still three hours. That is. Um, so I'll just do a quick temperature check. I'll do in the flu. We're at. I started in Celsius, so we're at so 138 flash up then. So that's 138. I can't realise how this works now. So 279. Um, the inside the tube. <laughs> I see 257 there, 260, so that's 260, which is 111 Celsius, 
there's, so there's obviously a lot of heat in there. Um, the room has gone up to 23. It was at 21 when I when we when we started it and brought it in. Um, it's really warm in here. I mean, it's that warm in here. My wife's bought her washing <laughs> to try it. Um, so I don't know. Would that if it was, if it was 17 degrees in here, would that have taken it to 23 and held it? It's gone to 23 and it's held at 23 for for con quite a consistent now. Um, I say this is a big room. It's got um, it's got really high ceilings and we've got old sash windows and uh, so which is why we got this thing because this this is a, it's quite a cold cold room. Um, so yeah, so if it was at 17 degrees, would it have got still got it to 23? I don't know. Um, I'd like to think so. Um, for the amount of heat that's pushing out, I think that's more than doable. So, um, so yeah, I, I got a feeling this thing's just going to keep going on and keep pushing out heat. Judging by um, how hot that body is, um, still, I mean, it is proper. You know, as you can see, um, it's it's sizzling hot. So I, I got a feeling this is going to carry on. I do. Um, I've got to do some other stuff now. So I'll go and do um, do some other bits, and then I'll come and check it at some point. I'll um, I'll let you know what time that was, and we will see what it's still putting out and what it's still going in. Um, I really wish um, I had some kind of thermometer that I could put over there just to, to give you an idea of what the air temperature is coming out of there. I've got nothing. The only thing I've got is is that and the IR, and um, and that's not going to give me anything. So so obviously if I've got um, a reading on the inside of that tube um, just because of that says it's let's say 250 doesn't mean it's giving me 250 um, degrees of air coming out of there but but it's um it's still pumping out some good some um some good heat so um so i'm gonna leave it at that for now i'll do um another check probably tag that on the end of this video and um and call it a success for the minute for me it's, it's easy going to be doing something for another hour um, and four hours is what I kind of envisioned this was going to push air out, uh, warm air out at and uh, it looks like it's going to go way beyond that um, it's way hotter than it was when I did it bare bones the other day um, mainly because obviously we've got more heat in it um, but because it's insulated and it's now inside um, it, it's just going to keep going and going and going I reckon um, so yeah brilliant so i'll um i'll do do another check a bit later on and um and call it that right guys yeah it's now five o'clock it's been going now for five hours and um yeah and we're still chucking it out so what are we on fahrenheit there 231 and it um so that's 106 celsius um, I know that's more than that. Yeah, okay. That was about 120 just now. Um, but we say that, and 216 Fahrenheit. Um, the thing is absolutely. You can't touch that. That's just just red hot, too hot. That was sizzling, and I, it really is, um, really is quite sizzly hot. That still. So. Overall, and a massive success. I'm really happy with that. It's um, this is more. I mean, this is just going to carry on heating us for for probably the rest of the night now. I reckon. Um, I might do some more videos on it. Um, I want to upgrade the fan. I'm going to make a little house for it so it can be contained in the garden. I know this is probably not for everybody. It's probably more just interest than anything else. But I mean, it's, it's something that's definitely going to work for us because because we haven't got chimneys and stuff, and and it's just another form of heat. So um, so it's it's still 23 degrees in here. It stayed at that and been continuous. Whether I trust that for modern thing, I do not know. But it's, it's blankly obviously going to get it up to that. And that 23 degrees for us is an uncomfortable heat. Um, it really is quite uncomfortable in here. Um, Vic walked in earlier and, and just said, oh God, it's just too hot. So yeah. So please um, leave any comments if, if you want to ask any question, more questions about it. If you want to see any more, you know, if I can do anything else with it, then, um, then, then you know, please ask. And um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Um, and if you want to see a little bit more on it, I'm sure I'll be doing a bit more and a few updates on it. Um, that'd be great to see if you could subscribe um, and giving it a like. Okay, thank you very much and hope to see you in the next video.